more cheap oil filters to cut up and analyze. Uh, this time the PH10060 size. Also going to throw in this one. This Supertech 12060, which is exactly the same size as the other two. I want to know what makes it different and why it has a different part number. So I'm going to cut them open and find out. All right, starting with the Fram Drive oil filter. Okay, base plate. Normal black rubber gasket. Black rubber anti drain bag valve. Standard paper filter with felt end pieces and the plastic cage in there. No bypass valve, at least not on top. The bypass valve is down here, part of the anti-drain back valve. So I think I should stop wasting my time and my viewers' time cutting open these Fram drive filters because they're all cheap crap, which is really disappointing considering you know, this filter was $6 and some change. Next up, the Supertech 10060 filter. Huh. This base plate looks exactly the same as the Fram Drive. Imagine that. Exactly the same. Same black rubber anti drain back valve. That also doubles as the bypass valve. Same paper filter, felt end caps, plastic cage inside, no bypass valve on top. But this filter was less than four dollars. So yeah, I definitely knew I was getting a cheap filter at that price. And this is the one, two, zero, six, zero. All right. Base plate is nearly identical. It just doesn't have the holes here that are part of the bypass valve. <clears throat> Same black rubber, anti drain back valve. Standard paper filter element, felt ends plastic cage inside and look at that a bypass valve a proper bypass valve stuck into the top of the filter this was also less than four dollars so i mean if i'm getting a cheap air filter or cheap oil filter um of this size, I'm gonna get the ST12060 from Walmart because at least it has a proper bypass valve in it, where these other two, you know, I don't really trust with the bypass valve. But anyway, they're all cheap oil filters. And that's that. Thanks for watching.